some more scenes of dilapidation and old buildings. Yeah, Mike Simpson, you might like all this kind of stuff. It's a bit urbexy. And then around there, there is an old, another kind of part of the place. Hmm. Right, well here's a bit of a juxtaposition. You know, we like that word juxtaposition. Now just behind me there is an old steeple which has 1862 in it. There's a satellite dish on it as well, look at that. That's a great juxtaposition. And here we have another abandoned house. There's loads of these houses in Aleth. Now this one looks quite a modern one because glass up there has been smashed. More hooliganism in Aleth, honestly. Right, this is the old town hall seemingly. It's obviously been done up a lot, but the most interesting part of it. The crows are crowing. The clock is dinging. What time is it, bro? It's 12 o'clock, bro. 12 o'clock? I think it's time for a cup of coffee. Yes. And a sandwich. Yes. Thank you. Right, yeah. right we've come into this uh, rather old Gothic looking church. I'm going to turn the camera around because it's far more interesting than us. Hang on, that's like the new bit. And then it's quite an interesting, the older kind of bit here. Interesting uh, grave, a couple of others, some a Pictish kind of one there. Oh, quite interesting. Apart from bro in the way. Uh, what do you think? What is it, bro? Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Mary. Hmm. Right, guess where Jag's going. I can't help myself, I have to find a boiler room today. I think this will be it. Could this be the Holy Grail? Or the Stone of Destiny? Or is it just oh, another know, locked no boiler room? No, it's just a boiler room. Oh dear. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Now this is an old garage. Rose is getting quite excited about this. He's found an old picture of it somewhere, so hopefully we'll be able to put that on the video. As well, but that's an old garage from the. I'm actually sure when that was from. Oh, we found this old thermometer. Is it still working? Because today so it says it's. Oh, it's temperate today, right? It goes to summer heat, blood heat, fever heat. Oh. Fever. So today. My balcony, that'd be yes. Yes. Well, it would stay at freezing all the time then, wouldn't it? <laughs> Boy. Right, we're going to do a bit of extreme spizzing. Jag is going under the bridge. Right, here I go. I'm under the bridge of Ailey. Right, maybe as far as I get. We're going to turn the camera around. Jag over here. Well, but I was thinking about going for it. See, because I too could look like this One Direction chap here. <laughs> See if I have my hair cut. I'm actually quite good looking beneath this mop. But unfortunately today, the hairdresser is closed. Boo. Actually, there's not even a Sunday on here. This goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So well, maybe they don't have Sunday. You could have made a fiver today, bro, if you were oh, here. Oh well, never mind. Right folks, here we are, We've, we're at the Den of Aleth now, so we're quite excited, we've never been here before. Um, there's no other people here, so this is looking good. 
Just bro and myself and nature. Excellent. So in we go, into the den. Oh, which way? We're going via the play park. Well, it looks lovely and green, doesn't it, bro? Yeah. Wow, excellent. Well, we're now in the den of Ayla. And as you can see, we've got a small bridge down there. Now, i just check my concrete notes here. <laughs> this bridge was gifted to the people of Alif by ex Bailey Mitchell, who was a JP, which I think is a doctor, her mother and sister, all of Inver Isla. And it was refurbished by Aberdeen University in 1990, all those years ago. Crikey. And there it stands. Thank you, bro. Let's go and look. Okay, I'll just have a quick pan of the den. As it is quite green. Lovely today. Nice and quiet. And the river just gently gurgling through the trees. Very nice today. Right, we're now in the den off Ailith. And guess what? It's a massive hill. It's a mountain. Oh my lord, here we go. Scotland and hills. Well, here we've we just go. been having immense fun with Bro's slow mo camera on his slow iPhone. Mo just joking. It's really fast now. Slow. Yes, much faster. Lots of nuts. Oh, hey, hey, he's all nuts. Here's a wee squirrel box. Ah. That's great. Feeding the red squirrel population here in Ailith. Right, well here's Spiz Nature Cam on this diggy thing flying around here. Can you see this? I'm trying to keep up with it. There is a spider on that. Um, must be some sort of trap trapping device, but it's very strange. It's like a magic trick. It's just floating in there. Look, it's weird. <laughs> No strings attached. Very strange. But there's Spiz Nature Cam again, in action. Thank you. Goodness me, that's Well, we just came along a little bit along the den, and it doesn't really seem to be much at all to, to see. It's just a bit of a, a mud fest, to tell you the truth. Um, the river's not particularly high today, so it doesn't seem to be anything interesting. We couldn't find a leaflet about this uh, den either, so we're just going to go back to the car now, I think. It's just a nice walk, really, that's all. Nothing Spiz-like to report. Well, I think that concludes our wee trip to Ailith. I haven't finished our day out yet, but this is the Ailith part of the day, maybe concluded. So we've um, discussed our mark today, and because we didn't get to the arches, because there wasn't really much of significant interest, although it was a lovely walk, nice, uh, different place to see, overall we've agreed on the mark today is going to be a... Bing! Four. Okay, Four. yes, I'll agree with that. Go. Four. Okay, thank you very much. Bro. <laughs> <laughs>